Happy Thanksgiving, Paul. Happy Thanksgiving, Dad. Happy Thanksgiving, Seth. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm not going to throw it over at you. <laughs> anyway, we have a mystery guest who wants to remain anonymous. Okay, so today we're not at the shop. We're actually working out here, and I'm going to put the starter on the LeBaron. It's been a day or two since we started on it and worked on it, ain't it, Samuel? Yeah. Okay, so today everybody's here to eat the Friday meal after the Thanksgiving meal. Yeah. And uh, so uh, all the kids are here except, well, except Katie and Trey and Andrea. But uh, anyway, uh, about this car, the little LeBaron, I wanted to show you something that's really important. I know a lot of people run out like, and they go by timing lights. I have two timing lights. Uh, never use them. Uh, I don't. Uh, the reason is, for one thing, I set a I set my timing with a vacuum gauge, and by ear. Right. Okay. And here's why. Uh, we're fixing to do our video on Cess uh, seventy two Dodge Cornette, and here's I, I bought the car with a brand new motor, and uh, the guy had put it together. Brand, it didn't have enough power to get out of its tracks. First thing I could tell when I went to crank it over was the timing was slow. So I, we, we pulled it up, uh, started it, is running, started pulling the timing up. Man, it started smoothing out, pulled it up a little bit. It started cutting out a little bit and backed it up, uh, let it run till it was warm, shut it off, went to start it. It kicked back a little bit. Uh, backed it up just a little bit, got it to where it would as as far advanced as we could get it without it kicking back on the starter. Uh, went to put a timing light on it, you couldn't find the mark. What had happened was is they set the timing with the timing light, and uh, apparently the harmonic balancer had shifted in the timing mark. By the time we got the timing set right, mm -hmm. you couldn't see the mark on the harmonic balancer anymore. Hmm. Now, I just put. A double roller time and chain of gear in here. We put it not on four degrees advanced, not on four degrees retard. We set it right on top, dead center. I know for a fact that piston is, we just put the heads on it, that piston on that side. Me and Sam, you, Seth, you just checked. That piston's all the way up. And I yeah. wanted you to see something. If you will look down here on this timing mark, that is five degrees retarded right now. I know for a fact this time and chain is TDC. I know for a fact that piston's all the way up. And look at where that timing mark is at down there. So if you're one of those people and you think, well, I want to run 32 degrees total advance, or I want to run 28 degrees, or I want to run whatever, and uh, and you started trying to uh, use your factory timing mark on this, well, you would be that much slow right there. So that's why... If you're going to use a timing light, get one of those stickers that sticks on to the harmonic balancer. What we're going to do on this, I'm going to, uh, before we do anything, I'm going to go get a Sharpie and mark the harmonic balancer where right. on zero. So I, you know, so I can, if I use the timing light, I can do that with it. Uh, so yeah, today we're going to, uh, yeah, found this, uh, it's not a real dual dual snorkel breather. It is a real Mopar dual snorkel breather. It's one of the uh, later ones. It's not the one on my like on my dad's Charger RT. It's not like that one. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I thought it's pretty cool. We painted it wrinkle finish, and it's all pretty. Yeah, it is really pretty. And so, uh, yeah. So uh, I can tell Yep. So anyway, this is that's coming along. Uh, like I said, today I want to. We're going to drain the oil out here in a minute. The oil's going to drain while we're eating Thanksgiving dinner again. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to come out and uh, we're going to put new oil in it. And uh, because it's got the cam, and this is another thing, uh, like when you take the cam out, it's just like a. Have you ever stuck a straw in a soda pop? Put your thumb over the straw, pull your feather, serve a straw, and pull it out. Yes, yeah. Put how it'll hold a vacuum. Well, while your cam is in there, it's kind of doing that. Uh, so uh, when I took the cam out, <clears throat> we're going to change the oil. I'm going to go ahead before we stick the gear in the back. 
we're going to prime the oil pump and make sure that everything's primed before we put the distributor in it. So that's our to do today yep. agenda. I uh, want to thank you for joining us. Uh, like I said, we haven't worked on this little car in a little bit, but it's not because we're not working on it. It's just, you know, got too many irons in the fire, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yep. So, guys, what do you say? Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a happy Thanksgiving. And see you later. Thanksgiving weekend. See, Thanksgiving weekend. weekend. Yeah, well, yesterday was Thanksgiving, and we ate over at Robbins. Yep. We're going to eat here today. Sammy Candy's tomorrow. And then Sunday at church. So, yeah, I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> We're going to practice moderation in all things, right? Right. Yeah. No. But I mean, moderation <laughs> every time. Every, yeah, my, if you're doing moderation every single one of the time. Every day of the week. You're right. It should all work out okay. You're right. I only eat half the time. That means like 12 hours a day. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. God bless y'all and have a good day.